baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. I got something for you when we get home. If you let me put it down, when I hit the town, you should slide on me. Keep your minds on me. On try, baby, I think you should side with me. Stay solid one time if you lie with me. Just promise you never lie to me. Keep the moves on tuck. I know what's all up. Everything good. Keep the vibes on crush. I know what's all good. Know what's all love. Know what's all love. I've been feeling like I'm feeling like a man. Good morning. It is Monday morning and I'm starving. So I just made myself a breakfast sandwich with one egg. Oh, I forgot to track the egg in that. Um, let me add the egg to it. I did one egg, two servings of the egg beaters. Let me see. Yeah, I put three. Okay, let's do two servings of the eggs. I'm really only tracking what I'm eating because I want to measure protein. I'm not counting calories because if I'm getting, if I'm hitting protein goals, then I know that I'm not completely like over calories wise. Because when you eat a lot of protein, it's hard to, to overeat, <laughs> especially when you also make sure you're getting fruits and veggies. Um, and I just don't want to like overwhelm myself by trying to track too many things at one time. So I'm really just focused on protein right now. Anyways, let's add one egg to breakfast, large egg. So that brings my total protein for this meal to 35 grams in this sandwich. And this has one whole egg, oh, two servings of egg beaters. I did four slices of the Canadian bacon, one slice of cheese, and obviously the English muffin. good all right y'all i'm about to go to the gym i got my protein shake i got my water i'm gonna leave this here the fit crunch i'm gonna leave this here i don't need this right now but i am gonna take my protein shake and my water okay finally getting out of the house it is 12 10 Got my protein shake, got my parfait. I made a whole batch of parfaits last night. I just put Greek yogurt, vanilla Greek yogurt, strawberries, and um, granola. Same time, same kind I made in the last video. So nothing special. I'm just gonna eat this on the way to the gym. Finish it before I go in. And if I still, this will be carbs and protein. And a little bit of fat. Cause I'm sure the granola has like some oil or something in it. I'm just closing my bonds. That hit different. It hits differently. Okay. It hits Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
Go ahead upstairs so Cody can help you with your work. Yes. All right. She needs to help you move through your, through your different lessons. Okay. Okay. Just got home. I'm swapping. Love you too. I'm swapping out my warm protein shake for a cold one. And I'm about to do some stretching because I just didn't feel like staying at the gym to do that part. Yes, Miss Ma'am. Are you reading? Oh, What does it say? Bed. Can you read that word? Where is a bed? Can you read this word? Alright, let me get my stretching in so I can be done for the day. So essentially, I just want to make sure I stretch my inner thighs. Make sure I'm stretching my ankles. Because I put my, um, oh I need to show y'all this too, but I bought some shoes for the wedding. I put them things on. And my feet, like my, when I started trying to walk in it, like not my, not necessarily my ankle, but like, my leg right above my ankle was hurting when I was trying to walk in them. So I'm gonna try to make sure I stretch every day this week. Excuse you, ma'am. Well, hey, stretch. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> Bye, girl. I'm sad. That way I can. You need to do your work. Thank you. If I stretch every day this week, then hopefully I will work out whatever the heck that is that's hot, creating that issue. <laughs> karma. <laughs> that's karma. What's karma? What's karma? I know what. That's why I was trying to speak. That's rude. Can you put this in the trash, please? Okay. And also that thing that's on the floor right there. Yeah, okay. Uh, Why is there a tissue on here? Tissue. Oh, I can feel it. This is pretty good. Freeze them. Definitely giving like salted caramel. Stop freezing them. I forgot to live. Um, okay, let me see. So after the protein shake, I'm currently at 87 grams of protein for the day and 1183 calories. You wanna try it? You tried it at Costco, you didn't like it. I'll try it again. It 
You like it? It's half good, half bad. <laughs> yeah. Tastes like protein for sure. <laughs> That's something I could agree with. But it's still kind of good. It's not bad. Definitely had worse protein shakes. <sighs> Come do your work, Corey. Don't make me keep saying it. Yeah, that was what I'm going to do. And the protein shakes good, guys. What's this word? I eat. I eat. That's an L. I need to get back to work. Where's my work computer? Oh, I think it's in my office. <laughs> That's it. Take a sip and then beat it. Bye. Taste the cocoa. Advice? Yeah. What's your advice? Doing that. Hi guys. So I can't. Just, I you can. I just thought you weren't because you kept saying you weren't. Okay, so I just got my Target order. So I got the new rouge. Is that focusing? The new rouge. I also got pistachio, please. And I got the mixed bar passion fruit. Hey, what's your break? Can I smell that? This is the passion fruit nectar. Hey, with me, don't do that. That does good. smell good. Ooh. Stop the beauty. It's not too fruity. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. This one, I smell this in Target. I don't know. On Saturday. And I like that. I think your father will like this too. It's, it's very unisex. What? What is that? What is that? What time is it right now? I like this one. I'm making some more chicken because we're having the same thing we had last night. Here is the tzatziki, the roasted red pepper hummus, the leftover chicken, the slaw, cucumber and tomato, and then some extra cucumber right here. What happened to that feta? You put it in the fridge? And some feta cheese. Oh, and rice. So, about to eat dinner pretty soon. Which one did you let him smell? The blue one. What did he say? He said it smells good. Oh. This smell. Oh, this smells almost masculine. But it smells good. Mixed with something like a little bit more feminine, I think. Or really. Why does this? Am I smelling the chicken or am I smelling this? Probably the chicken. smell good together. I'm tripping. I can't tell if I'm tripping or not. Let me know if you think it's no good. Today. Huh? Mom, you literally have all the aesthetic products. Ugh. I told y'all everybody was saying that this one smells like the um, yellow Sol de Janeiro Charosa 62. There's a bunch of stuff I want to buy. I'm saving. I wish I wish that quiz was like before. I wish my birthday was like after my birthday. Throw us away. Okay. I was so excited about this. Yeah. This is so cute! Just put the camera on some fuji salt. Kim it smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Why is it heavy? Because it's the actual perfume. That one is like a glass bottle. Wait, it's got some like the <laughs> <laughs> Does it smell like the Sharosa 62? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this smells so good. Full Definitely my favorite of Doop. the whole. Smell this, okay? Full de Janeiro. Doop. Lulu lemon. Doop. Kava. Doop. How smell? Let King smell it. King, smell that. Tell me what you think. 
Ooh. Smell good, right? It smells so good. That's this is definitely my favorite of all the finery perfumes. The other one that I have, I told y'all I have a sweet on the outside, and that one is supposed to be a dupe for the Charlie. What's her name? Billy Eilish one. And that one smells good too, but this one smells even better than that. This one is bomb. I will never be without this. <laughs> Moving forward, it smells so good. Adopt me. I'm like that game. Cody. I'm like that game. I'm like pretty much in the game just to play. I don't. What they say. Yeah, I woke up with the worst headache. I'm so. Mm. My head is not. Mm. I'm about to get some coffee. I'm hoping that will fix it. But I know it won't. I'm probably going to end up going back home and taking a nap. Because I am so... This is making me just want to go to sleep. What can you feel? I have a mobile order. What was the name? Danielle. All right, you can go for it. Thank you. calling me i'm about to go in the house and go to sleep because now i'm starting to feel nauseous and i can't do it let me um answer this phone call hi child it is 10 40. i just woke up headache is gone feeling much 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 better oh boy about to get myself some food and work because i've been i couldn't do it y'all i was nauseous when I get really bad headaches, I get nauseous and I just can't function like that. Whew, let me grab a banana. Get something in my system. I put my coffee in the fridge, couldn't even finish it. I couldn't even drink it because I was so, ugh. my coffee I'm gonna add some cream to it because it's first of all it wasn't that sweet second of all I don't like the color even though I added mocha I don't know why I did that I thought it might be good but I don't like it oh lord We need some food. I'm about to eat this chicken breast from um, Food Line. I bought some fried chicken the other day. I'm gonna air fry it to get it um,
nice and crispy. And I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna uh, have some of these fries. I'm about to actually fry them. Cause I just want real fries. Like I, I don't want air fried fries. Cause these crinkle cut fries ain't gonna taste that good in the air fryer. I want them to be fried. So I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the pan and just do a really, really shallow fry. Try to decide if I want to use a pot or a pan. I feel like a pot is probably better. I'll just put maybe a cup of oil. The fact that I'm starving is not a good thing because I will eat literally anything right now. I'm so hungry. I should never let myself get that hungry. I just put like a tablespoon of maybe two tablespoons, maybe one and a half, something like that. Okay, that chicken breast should be very high in protein because it's a lot of meat on that chicken. Okay, color looks better already. You can tell I just put this straight in the fridge because first of all, and it's barely gone, and second, it still got ice in it. I put caramel and mocha in here, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more caramel. two servings of these which is 240 calories and four grams of protein i don't care about the protein i'm freaking starving oh my gosh i'm so hungry i don't like getting this hungry that's why I, when i was um, losing weight the first time i would put a really big i would make myself a huge meal like i would have um a protein shake like a homemade protein shake with cottage cheese in it to give it like some bulk and make it even more filling i would do like a flatbread pizza with chicken and veggies and all of that kind of stuff and then i would do a meal and i would eat all of that at one time like a high protein meal with like chicken breast rice a veggie and then i would like that would be my meal and i would really be only be able to eat one meal a day that way and it would be so filling it'd be so filling that i would just be stuffed and would not want to see food for the rest of the day that's what i need to get back to doing <laughs> because that works for me that works i love to be not that i love the feeling of being stuffed but i love when i eat and it's, it takes away the urge to eat anymore because i can control what i'm eating and then i don't feel like this urge to just eat everything like i do right now so for me that works. <laughs> but I'm gonna be gentle with myself because I'm just now kind of easing back into it. I'm not gonna like put a bunch of restrictions on myself and all that. Grab some cucumber. We don't have no ranch. I need to go to the store and grab some ranch. <clears throat> eat some of this cucumber. Eat a couple slices of ham. And I'm gonna eat this bread while I wait for the oil to heat up so I can make these fries. And for those of y'all that be, and it's only a couple, but for those of y'all that want to give me advice in the comments in a very mean way, <laughs> I will block you. So do it at your own risk and you will not be able to comment anymore. You'll be able to comment, but I won't see it anymore. Because y'all be, be doing too much, some of y'all. Let me not say a couple. It was only one person and I blocked her because first of all, I'm, I'm like, who are you talking to? That's what I was saying like when I was in Florida, when I was talking about that, it's like people say anything to you just because 
I post videos online. Don't mean you can talk to me any kind of way. Like, who you talking to? I'm a grown woman. I'm not your daughter. I'm not your grandchild. I'm not none of that. So, if you're going to open your mouth to say something to me, make sure that you are being cautious of how you're saying it. Because... Who this for? Oh, I look crazy. All right, y'all. I'm about to make dinner real quick. It's five o'clock. Just got off work. I'm tired. But um, so all I had so far today was the chicken and fries. Did I have any snacks? Oh, I had some of the chocolate covered strawberries and the other stuff y'all saw me eat earlier but anyway i'm about to make dinner now i'm gonna use the leftover chicken from yesterday's meal and um some pasta i just pulled out some penne from the air fryer. i'm sorry pantry um so leftover chicken penne pasta also gonna use some of these primavera vegetables these are the roasted veggies it is uh broccoli yellow and green squash red bell pepper red onion Himalayan salt and uh, avocado oil. So first I'm gonna cook the chicken in the pot with just enough water to cook it. I'm sorry, the pasta in a pot with just enough water to cook it. Like, yeah, I don't want it to be a extreme. I'm not boiling it, like deep boiling it in water. I'm just gonna put enough to fill it up. Then once the pasta is done, I'm gonna make it a one pot meal, add in some, um, what's that stuff called? Alexa, turn the lights on. some all right so since since this is all the chicken that's left I'm I went ahead and chopped up the rest of the roast beef because I already ate the bread that the roast beef was supposed to go with anyway <laughs> but yeah so here's the chicken I'm gonna add the roast beef I got some cheese right here I think I got some um, cream cheese in the freezer too or fridge I'm gonna see about that I'm gonna use this whole pound of pasta and then I'm also gonna use these veggies and I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's done. Good morning. Not only is it Love is Blind Day, that means we got two new episodes today, but it's also Wednesday and um the day before my trip to new orleans so i have a ton of prep to do today um i had to go grocery shopping i got a lot to do but i'm about to make breakfast real quick i'm uh just about to have some rice some eggs and so i'm just gonna fry up an egg real quick Put some Canadian bacon in here, and then I'm gonna eat it with some rice and seaweed. So that's got a taste for rice. So rather than um, having the, what's that thing called? English muffin. I'll have some rice with my egg. 
I hope y'all are doing well. I hope your week is off to a good start. I think I'm gonna do a little onion powder. Oh, this thing completely missing the top, the lid. A little bit of onion powder. A little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of complete seasoning. And some pepper. And then maybe like a touch of salt. Actually, I probably don't need salt because I'm going to have this Canadian bacon which has salt in it. And then also the seaweed and probably a little bit of soy sauce. So I'm going to skip salt. And just let this cook. I'll show y'all what it looks like when it's done. Here's what it looks like so far. y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here because i need to start the travel vlog that's gonna be next so yeah i'll see y'all in the next video and we will be traveling to new orleans so if you want to see that make sure you come back for the next video see y'all soon